Hi guys, um, happy Halloween. So I'm here at Tito's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and order some nachos, carne asada nachos. So let's do this. Tito's tacos. Hey guys, I got my first Halloween um, candy from a co worker of mine. I already ate the Reese's Pieces. So my first Halloween trick or treat um, candy. That was really nice of her. And she put some yummy candies. And I like, she put the Kit Kat, the high chew mango, kind of like the Starbucks. Starbucks stuff. You know, say Kit Kat, Almond Joy, uh, Hershey's. So these are good candies. I also got my Jamaican juice. Jamaica Jugo de Jamaica Natural Juice. And let me show you guys my nachos. A nacho, a carne asada nacho grande, um, or well, nachos. <laughs> so these are the nachos. Um, they come with tomato, carne asada, sour cream, um, the cheese, like melted mozzarella cheese maybe, or I don't know what kind of cheese it is, but, and maybe some beans down the bottom. Um, also, I love to get these carrots and vinegar. Oh my god, they're just like the tastiest. Uh, I, Since I was a little girl, my mom used to take us to this chicken place and they always had the vinegar uh, um, carrots. They so yummy. And of course, my little Jamaican juice, natural juice. Mmm, if you guys haven't tasted these, these are like bomb. Mm. Even to snack them alone, they're so yummy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, hit the road um, and um, when I drive at my destination over there where I'm supposed to pick up. I'm actually at lunch, but I'm going to drive where I'm supposed to be. This is a little far. Um, I'll talk to you guys over there. So I'm finally um, finished driving and now I can eat peacefully and here is my nachos look at this guys nachos so I think this is too much um, might not even finish it but like I said it has carne asada tomato uh, I think I told him not to put salsa I forgot to bring salsa though I feel like it has some lechuga, lettuce. Yeah, I think I definitely need the salsa. That would have made a big difference. I'm not a salsa person, but a little bit of spice will not hurt, you know? It'll taste good. So yes, it's a uh, Halloween. Um, Um, I get off from work close, close to six o'clock. I'm really not gonna dress up. Maybe I'll do like a quick little, maybe face painting, Halloween makeup, like quick. My brother's coming with us. Um, I asked him if he could search for some haunted houses that I could take the kids. Um, I don't think I'm taking them uh, trick or treating house by house. No, I rather just get them some candy and of their choice, a couple candy. starting not to trust people no more like now these days like there's so much evil stuff going around the world that people do
do more evil stuff. I mean, maybe because there's internet and maybe, maybe back in the days when I was growing up, there was no internet. Um, you won't see a lot of stuff, but what you hear in the news, but I don't know, but I just feel like there's so much evil, like you never know, like I think I heard, I heard like, like some people were putting like marijuana, marijuana on the candies, like they were putting the edible marijuana and I think one, one of the kids got overdosed and they took them to ER, like the, per the kid did not like pass away or die, but that's just evil to the to do that to kids you know because these edible like uh, marijuana candies they look and taste um like real candy you know like i haven't tasted like to be honest i'm totally honest i haven't tasted no edible marijuana candy so i can't tell you they do taste if any of you guys have tried anything like that's uh marijuana I don't know if they call it edible. I think they do. Like the, the candy or food or whatever. Like, you know. I mean, does it taste like... Like a candy? Does it taste like something that's not... Has, doesn't have marijuana? I mean, I don't know. Uh, also, too... I noticed that there's less people going trick-or-treating like at least from last year the houses where I usually take my kids trick-or-treating it's my mom's neighborhood it was kind of lonely like a lot of people are like are like celebrating less each each year and to be honest with you I know that Halloween, it's, um, it's a celebration of the devil. Let's put it this way. Like, you want to know the history. There's a lot of videos out there about Halloween. I mean, really, the real significant about Halloween is just devil worshiping and stuff. But I know deep inside me, I shouldn't celebrate it because I don't worship the devil. But... You know, I'm not trying to contradict myself, you know, it's just that it's a, tr it's a tradition, you know, they have it here in America, it's a tradition, and the, the I'm stuttering now, the kids see it as um, just fun, just like fun, you know, like, they don't even know the real tradition, you know, some don't, like, now these days these kids know a lot with the internet, but they don't know, some don't know the real tradition, behind Halloween, you know, but um, when I was small, I did miss out on a lot, I didn't miss out on a lot of that stuff, I don't want, I didn't want my kids to miss out only because, you know, like, I don't want them to feel excluded from other kids that are having fun on that day, today, like Halloween today. But my son told me <laughs> last week, it's so funny, he's like, Mom, I don't want to celebrate Halloween. He's like, you know what? That's like the devil worship. I don't want to worship the devil. And I'm like, I don't know who told him, but it's the truth. I, want, I didn't want to tell him like, no, or this and that. So that's why maybe they haven't really asked me for like a costume. They're not really like. <laughs> that's so funny. There's an acorn that fell down the tree. And it was just funny how it bounced from the car to the ground. <laughs> you guys should have seen that. But anyways. Um, so this. Today, I had plans not to take them trick-or-treating house to house. I have plans to take them out to eat, go buy them candy, like, go to Rite Aid and get them a couple candies they like, like, a couple bars of, I don't know, like, whatever candy they want. Uh,
take them like a little haunted house and stuff like there's many places like malls they have like little events going on for Halloween um, so I don't know like after I finish eating I'm gonna definitely um, call my brother and ask him if he already did his research, like what areas we could go, because he's going with us, my brother. By the way, he's make he's my brother's helping me do blogs on um, places we go, and he's doing the editing actually he's doing an editing for me right now for um we went to the uh well i forgot the name of the cemetery but it's the cemetery where uh, a lot of celebrities are resting in peace like marilyn monroe puff hefner the, the little playboy owner um Sarah Fawcett, um, I think that's how you call her name. Um, Sylvester Salon's son. Um, uh, the pinup uh, American model, um, Betty Page. All these and more. Um, the guy from the Three's Company show. Um, uh, what's his name? He also came Andy Griffith he came on the Andy Griffith show back those old shows back then uh, he's editing the video we went there and also we went to Hollywood Forever Cemetery um, he wanted to see where um, the band one of the band lead singers the Ramones uh, is resting in peace there so he wanted to go see um, the grave site. So he'll be helping me um, edit videos and stuff, and he comes out on that video. Oh, and on the on, on that cemetery where Marilyn Monroe rests, where she rests in peace, there's also this uh, actress that came out in Poltergeist. <coughs> the name of the little girl in the movie was Carol Ann. And um, I forgot her real name. But it'll be on the video, you'll see it. Um she passed away young around the age of 12. She came on Poultry Guys first, second, and third. Those were really scary movies. I remember watching them when I was growing up. Mm. She was resting in... Mm. I don't know, shouldn't be talking about my mouthful. She's resting in peace in that cemetery too. It's believed that the movie was cursed. That's what they say that the movie was cursed and a couple other actresses in that movie like passed away I think another like the sister of of, of the girl passed away in the movie uh, she passed away too like the boyfriend killed her and I believe somebody else but they believe that the movie was cursed you know oh sorry <laughs> alright guys have a safe Halloween. Thank you for being here with me today, for joining me on my lunch little chats, chit chats. I hope I don't get you guys hungry. Thank you for watching my videos, for, for just like, like even though like, I'm talking, there's nobody here. Like, I feel like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> but thank you, and um, have a blessed, blessed evening. Happy Halloween, and um, be safe.
um and thank you for being subscribed to my channel and see you guys on my next video What's up, y'all? Um, just here wishing you guys to have a safe Halloween, um, a scary Halloween, and a fantastic Halloween day. Hi, welcome to my Forever Bella page. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe.